Hello everyone, this is Navin Reddy from Tariska Learnings and in this video we'll talk about how to convert a binary code into a grey code. So before doing that, we need to understand what is binary code, we need to understand what is grey code and we need to understand what is XOR. Okay? So what we'll do, we'll try to first understand what is binary here. So every decimal number, so basically your computer works with binary format, right? So when you talk about uh, storing your files or working with your computer, you work with binary number, right? Which is 1 and 0. So we can find the binary code of any number, right? Now let's say we have a binary format. So let's say we have the first eight decimal numbers. We'll, let's, we'll take an octal system here. So let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, six and seven, right? So we have this eight value. So we have one, from zero to we have seven, right? Now we'll try to find the binary format of zero here. So the binary format of zero will be to zero, zero, zero. Why I'm taking three bits is because to represent the top eight values we just require three bits right so we'll take three zeros then we have three uh, zero zero one that's zero one zero right and then we have zero one one then we have uh, this is this is one double zero right and this is one zero one this is one one zero and for seven we have triple one right so that's uh, that's your binary format now if you compare the f any two numbers so if we talk about any two consecutive numbers let's compare the first two so how many bits are changed? This is 0 as it is. Then we have 0, 0. Here we have 0 and 1. So 1 is one bit is changed. What about these two values? So this is 0. Okay. That's one change from 0 to 1. This is the second change. So in total we have two changes here. The th this one we have one change with 0, 0 is same. 1, 1 is same. This 0 is changed to 1. This one in total we have three changes. So this 0 becomes 1. This one becomes zero, this one becomes zero, right? We have three changes. So between two consecutive numbers, we have two to three changes, right? So that's not the good thing for your computer. So instead of having just a binary code, what we have, we have a new system called as gray code. Now in, in this gray code, what we can represent is, so we need to start with the first three zeros as it is. We cannot change that. The next number, to change the, to get the next number, always change only one bit. It can be the last number, it can be the second number, or second last number, it can be third last number. So I have to start with the uh, least significant bit to most significant bit. So what we can do is we can just start with the first one which is 0 here, and we can make it 1. So we, we can make it 0, 0, 1, right? So we got that number. Now the, for the first, for the second number, now can we change the last bit? If you change the last bit, if it becomes... 0, 0, 0, right? And you can see the, we are getting, we are repeating this, this thing. So can we change this one? Yes, we can, right? So the last two bits, this, this will remain same and this will change now. Now the next one is uh, that it can be, we can change the last one. So it becomes 0, 1, 0. Then we can change this one. But if you change this one, it will make, it will be 1, right? So it will be 0, 1, 1, which is, it will repeat. Uh, we cannot change, we cannot make this 0 because it will repeat. So we have to change this one 0. And we can say this is 0, uh, 1 and zero, uh, one, 1 and 0. Then for this, we can represent, uh, we can change the last one. And in this, we cannot change last one, we can change the second last one. So we can say 1, 0, 1 and the third one will be 1, double 0. So you have to follow the rule, you will get the gray codes, right? And if you compare any, any two components, any two numbers, consecutive numbers, you will have only one bit of, one bit difference. Right? What about the last one? Last and first. If you compare last and first, we have only one bit difference, right? And that is the advantage of using gray codes. Sounds good. But how to find a gray code directly from a binary code, right? So let's say you don't have this table and you have a binary format as 11011. So this is your binary code now. And you want to find the gray code of this number. So to understand this, we need to understand first what is X or what is uh, XOR gate or XOR operator. So what is XOR? XOR is represented with this operator which is plus and then circle and let's say we have two values. So we have 0, 0. So if you apply a XOR operation between these two, the answer will be 0. Okay. And if you have 0 and 1, it will be 1. If it is 1 and 0, it will be 1. And if you have 1 and 1, it is 0. So this is the operation of XOR. Uh, how it comes doesn't matter. Okay, we, this is the output. So for this, we have a bigger a, a, a formula for that, but that's not the case here. We will not talk about this in this video. So what we have, if you have two values which are same, that's the answer is zero. 
if one is one one answer is zero if both the values are different so it's in, in this case we have zero one so that's why one one zero that's why one right so this is this is how you you work with xr which is x r okay you can also represent this with x o r that's also possible right so to work with this we require to work with x r now let's try to find the answer for this so in this we have to first take the first one as it is so one comes here then to find the next number you have to compare this two the first and the second number if this two are same of course we have to apply xr right if this two are same the answer will be zero then the next two if this two are since they are different the answer will be one then this two different answer is one this two same the answer is zero so this is the gray code for your binary code simple right so this is your binary code and this is your gray code now how to get a binary code back from a gray code right so this is your gray code we want to find binary code again for this take this one as it is okay that's your input so this is your input now this is your output now take the second value from the input and the first value from the output so this compare this two now okay so zero and one it is zero again you have to apply sorry this is one you have to apply xor operation again then this one and the third one of the input so second one of the output and third one of the input so this will be zero and then this two this should be one and this two this should be one so that's your binary code right so from binary we got gray code and from gray code we got the binary code so that's how you convert a binary number into gray code and from gray code we get a binary code simple so this is the whole funda of this so if you have uh, if you if you got this point just click on the like button there and if you have any doubts click or type on the com comment section so that i will make a new video of that and if you need mo more videos on the topics like uh, binary conversions or maybe access code so do comment so that i will make that video so thank you so, so much for watching and do subscribe